In this video, I want to talk about the movements of the rib and the thoracic spine at what we call the costovertebral and costotransverse joints. So if we break down those words, costo just means rib, vertebral, we're thinking about the vertebral body, transverse, we're thinking about the transverse process of the vertebrae. And so it, that kind of tells us where those joints are. Um, I like to use my hands to visualize the movement of these different joints. So if you humor me here, this hand is going to be my thoracic spine vertebrae. So this is going to be the body of the vertebrae, so the vertebral body. This is going to be my transverse fossos. And my right hand is going to be my rib. So as my rib comes in, you're going to see both of those articulations. So my thumb, as it matches up with my other fist, is going to represent that costovertebral joint or rib articulating with vertebral body. And then where my thumb meets kind of my knuckle here, that's going to be representing my costotransverse joint of the rib. So you can see that as this rib moves, I have movement both, both in a rotation, more of a spin movement at the costovertebral joint. And then I have a little bit more of a gliding, sliding motion at the costotransverse joint because of the shape of those joints. So if you think about as that rib moves into um, an anterior uh, rotation, which would happen during thoracic spinal flexion, that rib's going to move into an anterior rotation, you're also going to get a superior glide of the rib at that costotransverse joint. So I hope that's apparent. At how that works. And then if I move into thoracic extension, that rib's going to move posterior. So there's going to be a posterior rotation at the costovertebral joint, again right here. And there's going to be a um, superior, or sorry, inferior glide at the costotransverse joint. So an anterior rotation, superior glide into flexion, and then a posterior rotation inferior glide into extension. 